So let's take a look at the Workspace Manager for Blender. It is available for free, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I'm still kind of fighting with my audio and my microphone at the moment. Don't have the settings 100% to be honest. So if you're having any trouble understanding me, it's probably my microphone. <laughs> Essentially, Workspace Manager, it lets you create workspaces. It is available for free. As always, please support third-party developers. In fact, Tingjoy Bits, the developer, has a nice bunch of tools that you might want to check out as well. So let's quickly jump into Blender and I'll give a very quick demonstration. So obviously, these are called workspaces. Now, generally when I'm working, I'll have something like the shader editor open at the bottom. But some people might have the image editor. Yada yada yada. So what we can actually do is we can come up to here and we can save the workspace. So if we're happy with the way that Blender's looking inside of layout, edit mode, whatever kind of mode to be honest, we can save it and we'll call it layout mine two or three, right in this case. I'll hit OK. And it means we can move things about, we can start changing, we can get our workflows kind of sorted, and if we ever want to revert back to it, we can quickly load it up. So we can load this back up. Personally, I like doing the shader editor, and that really is the workspace manager. Now, I'm not a big fan of showing off tools that kind of blow up your UI, or tools that you don't necessarily need, and I think this is one of these add-ons that can come in extremely handy, being able to quickly jump from different workspaces. Now, what this essentially does is it saves a Blender file, and then it appends the workspace. So just be careful if you're dealing with really heavy scenes, because appending a workspace might not necessarily be the best thing to do, but it works pretty damn cool, and I'm glad it is available for free. And obviously you can remove things, we can do overwrites, check out the page, check out the developer, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that crap, anyway, you know what to do. Take care.